I just want Bill to be the first man. <laughs> I just want Bill to be the first man. It's gonna be awesome. Just get him back. Just get him back in the Oval Office, hooking up with interns. You know, I grew up with Bill. Come on, I'm from the '90s, man. I just want Bill Clinton back in office as the first man. But, but if he's gonna be the first man, I'm sick of these first ladies trying to take control of situations and trying to do president stuff. Listen, if you're a first lady, do first lady shit. Like, you know, do do, do events for kids and and you know put put on those gloves that go all the way up to your elbows and go to balls and then yeah, don't. You're not the president. That's like that's like if you. you that's Bill a, yeah. I want <laughs> yeah. I want Bill to wear gloves. <laughs> but I'm saying like that's like if you hired a plumber, and the plumber comes over and he's like, hey, you know. Yeah, I think the problem's right here, and yada, yada, yada. And then his wife comes in, and she's like, well, actually, you know, uh, I kind of think it's like this. No. The wife does the wife shit. The plumber does plumber shit. All right? He's running the world. All right? So, if Hillary Clinton becomes our president, I don't want Bill doing president stuff. I want Bill doing first lady stuff, because he's he's gonna, <laughs> he's going to be the first man. And I think that's awesome. That's right. That's, that, you know what? What's that? What's that question you asked me earlier? What's your dream? That's my dream. I want to be the first man <laughs> of the United States of America. I want to. I want to be on that level, but I don't want any of the bullshit responsibility of. You know what I mean? That's what I want. Next question. Next question. Um, have you ever been in trouble with the police by Wilmington? Oh my goodness. Wilton. Um, I have. Uh. I'm not gonna get fully into what happened, but it was definitely stupid decisions. Um, it involved me and some fists, and I definitely, I got in a fight. I was young, and you know, you have a couple of drinks, you know, pisteando a little bit, and um, you know, somebody says something to you. I had a bad tendency of hitting on girls that had boyfriends in the club. But who the hell brings their, you know, who, you don't bring your girl to the club, though. You know, it's not my fault. It's their fault. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I have, yeah. I have been in trouble with the police a few times. Next question. Ria Agar, Agar, Agar. Oh, my God. You're horrible Ria. at this. <laughs> well, it's A-G-R. How do you say A-G-R? A-G-R? Agar? I don't know. Agar? Ria Agar? How did you and Sassy Snacks meet? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> For, all right. How did I and Sassy Snacks meet? That is a long story and I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> so, next question. Uh, I forgot oh, I put that in there. Okay. Yeah, you this one too, Vanessa Reyes. Reyes? What type racist? of females are you attracted to? What? Vanessa Racist? Reyes. Oh, Reyes. Reyes. Reyes? Re Ooh, Vanessa look Reyes. at you. You said that good, mama. Um, what type of females are you attracted to? Ethnicity wise and personality wise. Ethnicity wise and personality wise. Um, First off, I want to say thank you to Vanessa for asking me that question um, when I have <laughs> Dolce Foodie in the video with me. Uh, that doesn't make it difficult at all, you know? Uh, no. I like white girls from Finland with, like, personalities <laughs> like yours, mama. You know what I'm saying? Stop. You know, that's, Stop. That's, that's the kind of girl I like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I mean, I, I've been... Where, oh, I've been with all kind of girls. <laughs> um, <laughs> <I've been, laughs> I'm not a man whore uh, at all, but I've done a lot of. I've done a good amount of dating. I mean, I, you know, in a mature adult manner, I've I've gone out with all different colors and shapes and sizes. And I'm talking I'm talking about women like they're like cars, <laughs> all colors, yeah. different shapes. No, but I mean. 
I, I've gone out with tall girls, big girls, short girls, petite girls, black, white, Asian, Indian. I mean, and that's not like hard to do when you live in the tri-state area. Uh, tri-state area of the United States is basically Connecticut, New York, New Jersey. Um, there's so much diversity. It's it's easy to date all ethnicities and all types, all anything. Um, you know, personality is a big deal to me. Uh, personality can make any. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not trying to make anybody <laughs> mad, but quote unquote ugly girl, uh, gorgeous. I've gone out with all types of girls, big, tall. You know, like I said earlier, and and I, but every man does have their preference. Um, if you put all my ex girlfriends or or you know girls I've dated or hooked up or whatever you want to call it in a room together, you'll you'll see a lot of different different types of girls, but a good chunk of them do look the same um, and they're all for the most part like short petite bodied brown skin uh, curly hair um, those girls are usually either half black half white some kind of Asian Latina I mean that's that's my preference um, but I have gone out with white girls. I've gone out with black girls. I've gone out with all types of girls. So every man has a preference, just like every woman has a preference. But you like who you like. Personality-wise, I like dorks, man. I like big dorks who are not funny and who think they're funny. And they try to be funny, and it's horrible. And they fail horribly. Does that remind you of anybody, mama? <laughs> No, I'm funny. You're not, you're not, you're not funny at all. Oh, God. This girl, this girl will sit there and try to explain to you a joke before she said it. You're like, yo, you just ruined the, you can't explain to me the joke and then say the joke. It doesn't work like that. Um, but yeah, your personality, mama. That's, that's the personality I like. But they don't know it anyway. Maybe you should show it more in your video. Nah. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. It's either <laughs> Jorge or George. Okay. I think it's Jorge. Okay. <laughs> Garcia, uh, what happened to your last relationship? Why did it end? <laughs> right. Um. You put this here. My hey, last, hey. my last relationship. Hold on. I'm chew I'm chewing. Food, by the, way. the food is delicious. Great choice. And I didn't put any, I didn't put any mayonnaise on it or ketchup. You proud of me? Yay. I haven't Yay. even dipped it in the Polynesian sauce. And it's not because I'm making a conscious effort to eat healthier. Mm -hmm. It's because opening up those packets is way too dangerous while, while I'm driving. <laughs> Yay! Yay for good driving! Boy. Good boy, you are good boy. I hate it when you say that. Ugh. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Okay, anyways, what was the question? What happened to your last relationship and why did it end? Um, my last relationship pretty much ended because you know in the beginning of any relationship it's amazing it's so much fun and then we fell for each other really hard and we started making decisions that were irresponsible like let's be together forever and I love you and blah, move in it's only been a few months move in with me you got a kid what ifs like, we just like we went in hard and it's romantic and fun in the beginning when you do that, but it's just not smart. The smartest thing to do is to take your time, build a foundation with somebody, be friends with them first, really get to know that person in and out after a year, and go through some hard times with them before you make any drastic you know, decisions. Go through some really hard times, and then ask yourself after that hard time, is, is, do you still wanna be with them? And I think it ended because we just jumped in too quick and too soon. 
There you go. Hurry up! We got five minutes! Really? Yeah. Okay. ASMR Gutty or Gutty. Yeah. When is your first car ASMR? Here it is! Here it is! You're either getting three of them or you're getting an hour's worth. But here it is, the car okay. video. Next. Hungry Cakes. What is your least favorite food? Um, nothing. For real. Like, I eat anything. Anything and everything. Um, I don't believe that. I'll oh, find it out. Okay. Tell well, you guys. Alright, well, yeah, she'll tell me. She'll, we'll find out in the future. Next question. Um, what advice would you give your younger self by the ice puro, ice puro to? These people are gonna hate me pronouncing their names. Um, I think one of the things I would give myself advice if I saw the younger version of me would be don't have any friends for real don't have any friends and if you do have like two and that's it and follow your dream 100% um, don't let things discourage you like money it's okay to be down and out for, for a while and not have anything because eventually because there was a lot of time that I spent working a lot so I can have a nice apartment, have, have a nice place where if I just got a shitty place, I could have worked less at my regular job and I could have concentrated more on music and radio and stuff. So that, that would be my advice to my younger self. Cool. Uh, Jared Saboya, what is your favorite NBA team? No, you already asked me that. Boston Celtics. Did I? Yeah. Oops. Next question. <laughs> uh, Jasmine, Jasmine with a Z. M. Live off of one food. What would it be? Didn't you already ask me that too? No. Uh, live off of one food. Okay. I'm going fruit because there's a lot of different kinds of fruit and I could eat all different kinds all day or day. Okay. Next. Oh my god. Ask asks um what's the most awkward situation where someone found out about your channel? Uh I'm not gonna say any names, but this person saw me at a gas station and ran up to me yelling suave boom. And, uh, Is it the one that I know? Yo! Chill! What? And, what? uh, and, yeah, that was the most awkward. Yeah. She saw me at a gas station, ran up to me, swallow boom, and then that's it. How many questions do I have left? Let's, let's, let's get, let's get I serious. don't, I haven't counted, I haven't counted. I'm just gonna go through. Not a lot, though. Because I have, because um, should I just, should I just do them all? Or should I do an equal hour or just do them all? Just do them all right now. Just there's not a lot left. Maybe like five or something. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see you're eating now. Okay. Michael Wood would want to know what is your favorite fast food and your favorite sit down restaurant. Um Uh, Mama, tell me, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I like all fast food, though. Sometimes I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Sometimes I want a crunchy taco from Taco Bell. Um, I think those are the, I think those are like the two main ones. Chipotle. I mean, I guess, but I don't, I'm not like in love with it. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, oh, I love Dunkin' Donuts. Um, yeah. McDonald's, I guess, is dope. Taco Bell is dope. Burger King. Burger King. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I don't have one, man. Favorite sit-down restaurant? I also don't have one of those either. Uh, I do have one back home, but I'm not there. So. And I don't want to say what 
it is back home because then you'll be like, oh, I'm going to look it up. Oh, I know that town. Oh, he did this in this town. <laughs> I know how y'all work. Nice imitation. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they sound like. That's exactly what they all sound like. <laughs> uh, actually. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Foodie ASMR asks, are you allergic to anything? Kinda. Kinda. Um, kinda? Yeah, kinda. Um... I'm allergic to apples, but I eat them anyways. But the only thing that happens when I eat them is the inside of my mouth gets, it well not, no, the roof of my mouth gets itchy. And I end up like itching it with my tongue. And that's it. I know, it's fucking weird. I don't know why it does that, but it's the truth. There it is. That's it? That's it. Zaif, uh, would you recommend people coming to the States permanently? Um, would I recommend people coming to the United States permanently? Yeah. I mean, that's a weird question because is the dollar, I mean, what's so great about, I mean, I love this country. But when people, because I've had people ask me that multiple times, and I always find it weird. Like, we're not some, like, holy grail mecca of, like, it's amazing here. Like, every, I mean, people do come here. But, I mean, I have to assume that people go to other, I mean, there's a good amount of immigrants that go to, like, London and Paris and Berlin and, you know, places in the Middle East. I don't know, Asia. I mean... What I'm trying to say is, like, I love my country with all my heart. It's my home. I love it here. But it is weird that I haven't... I mean, do they have any movies of, like, some up-and-coming person where... Because there's so many people... There's so many movies of people coming here and making it big in the States. But can you not do that in other countries? Can you not go... Can I not go to Germany and make it big, quote-unquote... Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm not trying to, like, devalue my country. But I guess I'm just trying to understand why is there, like, this stigma of, like, I'm moving to New York, man, and I'm going to make it. Make what? It's Hollywood. Hollywood makes the stigma. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I wouldn't tell anybody to move here permanently unless they wanted to. Um, it's not that big of a deal, guys. Everybody from Everybody from other countries, they think, like, New York and LA and this and that, but it's like, New York, honestly, is not the United States. I know it is, technically, but it, but the majority of the United States is, is, New York is like a world in its own. Like, people are thinking, they think it's exciting to go to New York, because it's like, oh, it's New York and this and that, but it's not that great. It's expensive, it's crowded, it smells like crap, and... I don't know how to. Yeah. I don't know how to answer that. I, don't, I have no idea how to answer that question. The thing is, I've done my research and I've learned the differences while talking to you. And you guys, in order to to succeed in the states, you you guys work super hard. You know, hardly have any vacation compared to Europe. So people probably don't know about that. I know a lot of people might, but in general, I didn't know how. You don't have 28 vacation days. Like, you don't have... Oh, my God. I hear. People in America, you know, can like, you imagine that? Oh, my God. 28 days vacation? Ha, <laughs> Yeah. N normal in the United States is you work one year, you get one week. You work a second year. And that's not even a full year. Right. It's five days. It's five days. Five business days. And then the following week... On the following year, you get another week, and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. Some companies do build it up where you do get an extra two weeks and this and that, but for the most part, it's one week, and it sucks. You can you can also not take any of those vacations and be vacationless 
for like years and build it all up and then take a month off. But I mean, normal jobs in the UK or Europe, it's like you get a month off every every year. Teachers get like three to four months. And, and you're getting paid. You're getting paid to have a month off. That's amazing to me. And there's a free healthcare for everyone, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Whether or not you're working or not. Yeah. So those are just the, the things that I would usually remind people of if they think America is super great. Obviously, it is great. I'm not denying that. But there are differences that might be overlooked. Sometimes. I mean, I'm excited, like... To, I'm, I'm excited to go to the other side of the world. I would love to see what's going on on the other side of the world. I want to learn things like that. Like, I think it'd be cool if we both went to London or something and we checked that place out and see what it's like. Because you originally were gonna move to London anyways, and yeah. what? And you're only like what four hours away from London? Well, thirty minute plane ride. Yeah, I mean, so. I would I would want to go check because I I can't answer that question for real without like I've been to Canada and I've been to Mexico. Mexico is poor as hell and run by crime. There's there's good parts of Mexico. There's definitely good parts of Mexico. Um, and then Canada, you know, you guys don't really count. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love Canada. I'm kidding. Anyways, so there's my half-assed answer that I couldn't think of. Good. Um, keep thinking about the blank. Did you find your religion when you were a child, or did you rebel? Any stories about a young rebellious Suave Blue? Did I find my religion when I was young? Yeah, or um, did you rebel against it? Well, you, <laughs> you you have to you have to lose something to find it, and I've never. I've never, I've never lost my religion because the thing is, I'm Mexican Catholic, <laughs> and uh, being Mexican Catholic, you're pretty much the way you're taught is that. I'm just gonna park for a second here so I can eat this comfortably and uh, turn down this AC. Um, you just, just the way I was raised is just they don't. I never felt like I had the option. Not that I was like restrained. I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could like look into other religions and see what, it wasn't even about that. Like just the way I was raised and the way my family taught us about being Catholic and the beautiful things, every beautiful aspect of it. And um, my, my parents to a certain extent were kind of, they were kind of hippies um, where they believed most of the book, the holy book. But there's the thing you guys got to understand is that most of these Bibles and, and faiths that we look at today were written thousands of years ago. And back in the day, there was a lot of ridiculous stuff that people put in those books. And you kind of just have to like, I hate to say it, pick and choose, man. Like most of the stuff I believe in, but just the way my parents explained it and how beautifully they made me look at my faith and, and how they raised me and how they also told me about other faiths, the little bit that they, you know, were knowledgeable about. And, uh, but I just never, I never thought of converting. I never thought of like, is mine the right one? Like it was just a part of my life and they did a great job in raising me with that, um, faith. And, and I hope I can do the same job the same well job uh, with my kids and you know kids are kids man you can't I know some parents out there like well I want to give my kid their the decision to choose no no just like you're not going to let them choose everything in life like decide whether or not where we're going to eat and where we're what are we doing Friday night you're, they're kids you're not I'm not going to let them decide their religion I'm going to teach them yes, about choose responsibility. Right, right. It, uh, they're kids. I'm going to teach my kids about my religion and then when they get old enough and they can think for themselves, they can choose whatever. I don't, as long as they ain't living under my roof. As soon as they move out, they can do whatever. As soon as, soon as they get 18 and they move out, they can do whatever they want to do. I don't care. But I'll pray for them. <laughs> 
that yeah that, no i never i never had to find my faith man because it was always there um and it's made me the person i am today and i feel very blessed to have it and um there's people walking by me i think i parked in the wrong area um <laughs> and uh yeah so any mischievous things i've gotten into when i was a kid um or rebellious What's rebellious one of the main rules in my house growing up get good grades because if you really think about it when you're a kid that's your only main job that's it get good grades that's your job and that was my job and my parents had to deal with me where as long as I did well in school um, I could do whatever I want. I didn't have a curfew. I can go out. I can do whatever. Um, as long as I'm responsible and don't do crazy. Like if I'm going to drink, stay at a friend's house. And if I do go out and I need a ride, like my dad was like, yo, just hit me up. I will be there. You will not be in trouble. If you're too drunk to drive, I will come get you. Um, of course, it doesn't seem that easy. If I call my dad drunk, of course he's gonna get at me and punish me and everything. But at the end of the day, he's doing that because he doesn't want me to risk my life. And that comes before anything. So, um, I got into some you know rebellious stuff with other people, but I was never rebellious towards my family. And that's really, honestly, the only thing that counts, being rebellious against your family. I had a, I had a good upbringing. I did pretty well when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, next part. Oh, my God. Stop, it's too loud. Where's my fruit? People are going to see your fruit cup? Oh, I got it. Here we go. Uh, so, there's no, there's like three or four left. So, Barca10 asks, what's your favorite snack slash candy? Um, I'm going to have to go with Snickers. Um, I snack all day, guys. I snack all day. Um, I usually don't have full meals. As you can tell in my videos, I don't usually don't finish my whole meal. Um, so I snack all day. And um, candy-wise, I went with Snickers because that's my go-to. If I'm in a rush and I just want some candy, Snickers all day. Um, when I go to the movie theater, though... I get my popcorn, my soda, I get Reese's Pieces, and what else? Oh, Sour Patch Kids. Next question. I'm doing good. This is fun. Um, do you still see yourself making videos in five years, and do you think you'll be married by then? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I do see myself making videos for... um. Cause it's easy. It's not. It's not hard at all. Um, I'm eating and talking and bullshit. It's not hard to do. And um, it does make it easier that I'm getting money for it. Like, <laughs> like it does make it easier that Google AdSense is hooking me up. And um, those checks help. They definitely help with little things like my utilities and things like that so yeah I'm so gonna be doing this in five years now the marriage thing um I don't know nobody's planning on locking me down nobody's put the shackles on me yet um it's all right I'll give up one day all men do right mama <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll give up. I have got He'll give up. <laughs> Guys, he'll give up. I'll um, give up. I'll give up. I've already given up. Oh, that's so cute. More... Yeah. Um, All right. You can have it. No, 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 a little bit. Don't, don't, don't say too much on the video. <laughs> Hello? 
Did we lose you? Know? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm like, you're not saying anything. I'm here. Oh, you didn't hear me. I was talking. Oh, okay. All right, what was the next question? Um, there's like two, your channel to get any traction. Zach Robinson, how long did it take you? Hello? Yo. What is up with the connection? How long Can did it, me? how long did it take me to what? For your channel to get any traction. Um... How long did it take my channel to get any traction? It it That's it took a it took a minute. It, it definitely um. It took one a, minute. One minute. Exactly. I was amazing <laughs> after one minute. Um. The first minute was horrible. First minute it took for first minute it took forever. It took forever. <laughs> Sixty seconds. Um. It it was it was good. It was good. It took uh it took a little few months. Um obviously uh, a few well known ASMR artists at the time shouted my channel out. Uh shout out to Gourmet by the way, Gourmet ASMR. He was one of the big ones that shouted me out. I shouted you out. You shouted me out too, yes. Jesus Christ. Humble yes. much? Humble much? Jeez. Yeah, and I had way more subs than you did in the beginning. How many more subs did you have? I don't know. We had the 5K bet. Oh, we did so. have the 5K bet, and I beat you in that 5K bet. I, yeah, I, I beat tight. you very, very hard. That's what she said. Um, so, mm -hmm. it, it's, but the thing is, the thing with the key to making your channel successful is you do have to play a little bit of the politic game where it was a win-win for my situation, though, because I liked watching gourmet i liked watching dolce Fudi. i liked watching all these channels ignited and all these other people and they were they were so nice they were nice enough to shout me out and that kind of kick-started my channel and then another thing that helped was being consistent you just got to be consistent um day in and day out and don't make a video and then just like Stop and then out of nowhere pop up with one like a month later and be like, hey guys, it's me. I'm chewing gum. Like, fuck that bullshit, okay? Give me a real, you've been gone for a month and I'm getting gum out of you? You better eat a burger. No. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? You just got to be consistent. Um, that's why I try to do four videos a week. I did one last week. <laughs> so, I'm, but, I, but I'm, you know. Loser. Loser. But I feel like I'm getting, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll come back. It's all right. But that's that's pretty much it. Consistency, you know, watch other people, talk to them, get some pointers, and see what kind of advice they can give you. And hopefully, maybe you'll get a shout out from somebody. And that's why I'm always shouting out other uh, other channels, just because I spent, because I like on my days days off sometimes. I like going on YouTube and looking up, you know, a smart channels that have you know hardly any subs or any views because then especially if i like them on top of that because then i can shout them out and hook them up a little bit and you know that always feels good and people like moonlight eats i mean jesus that channel shined didn't it um you know i shouted her out and then boom a year later i mean she's she's past me and she's got a great following she has great content um and who was her first subscriber? Me. Yeah, but why? Or why? Why were you the? Why were you the? Like, why were you the first though? Because. Because you I heard about her through who? Opinion. Who'd you hear? Who? Who told you about her? She did. She left a comment. What and, and we watched her first video together and then I was supposed to comment because you were too lazy and you wanted to go to bed. Are you trying to tell me you discovered Moonlight Eats and not me? I am just saying I was first comment in her first video and the first like. So, you know, that's okay. saying anything. I'm just yeah, you know, staying. Just making a statement, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But okay. you were there too. Don't you worry. Oh you man, I was. Thanks for including me. Hey, three more questions. 
Okay. Ten more minutes. Um. Wow. And we'll be at a, left? and we'll be at an exactly an hour and a half. I have, I I just parked and I have a little bit of fruit cup. <laughs> oh. Really? You didn't even tell me much about the food. Did it taste healthy? We don't or... got we don't got time for that. Oh. We don't got okay, time for fine. that. I'm I'm parked. I'm actually parked oh. back, back in my apartment. Oh. Okay. What is your dream job? Um. Are you pursuing it? You already had it. Yeah. Um, there's the answer. I already had my dream job. Are those the last two questions? No, I have two more left. Okay. Um, yeah, I already had I already had my dream job. And I pursued it and I got it. And I don't have it anymore. Um, because of what I told you earlier. Next question. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad because I didn't say her name, so this was Allison Tyson. Okay. Thank uh, you, Allison. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I forgot somebody's name, but um. Remember, this isn't um. This isn't uh, the Dolce Foodie channel. This is not a whole okay, bunch of. Bye, this, bye, this is not a whole. Okay, this is not a whole bye. bunch of. Uh, this is not a whole bunch of nice. Viewers, the, these are these are suave boom viewers. They will definitely hate on you in the comment section. Oh yeah, and try to hit on you. Okay. What? Meredith De Ferro, De Ferro or De Ferro or whatever. Uh -huh. How did you decide your career? Um. I don't even know what this is a good. This is a cool question. Um. Because. I remember this conversation I had with this person too. My best friend's mother, you know, my parents were were immigrants. We moved from Mexico when I was a baby. And you know, when you come from a, a family of immigrants, they have that like American dream, uh, you know, you gotta work and work and work and get like a job being a something in the medical field or a lawyer or something in business. You know, we're in America. We didn't move from this third world, because my, my family's from like a really horrible part uh, of um, Sonora in Mexico. And, you know, they wanted me to do and be something responsible. Um, but I remember, you know, I've always been a funny guy. I've always been outspoken. I've always been the type to get in front of a microphone and host things and talk. And that was always kind of my knack. It was always kind of my talent that was easy. It was never hard to do that. And I remember like in eighth grade, my best friend's mother, uh, he, she told me, I told her like, Hey, I'm going to, I'll probably go to school. You know, I'll probably go to college for nursing or something. And she was like, why don't you go into something bigger? Like, like, why don't you, you should be like a DJ or you should be on the radio. You're a funny guy and this and that. And she went out of her way. Cause back, back then, it was like 1994, 93 when I was in eighth grade. You couldn't just go online, get information, and you had to go to the place. And she went down to the school. Uh, it was Connecticut School of Broadcasting. She got a folder full of like information, pamphlets, everything, all the paperwork about going to broadcasting school. And I kept that folder for four years. And when I graduated high school, I went to college and I studied broadcasting. And then after I graduated from college, I went to um, that trade school, that particular trade school. And yeah, so that's kind of what made me decide to, you know, she saw in me what I was good at, what came natural to me and kind of gave me that extra push to, to do it. So that's what made me kind of get into broadcasting. And what about nurse? Nursing was always this thing that like my parents wanted me to do and something that I wasn't against it. Like I was, I was interested in it and it was kind of something that, you know, it helped people and, and it was always in the back of my mind. Like, Oh, you know, maybe I should do this one day. And then one day it finally happened. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Or, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Last question. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Like really ready. Oh god, I know what it is. Oh, <laughs> damn. Do you like Airedales? Yeah, do you like Airedale Terry? Oh, no, it was actually What is your honest opinion about Airedale Terriers? And then uh, I was wrote underneath it, go ahead, break my heart. Listen. So go. It's not that I don't like them. I like dogs. I like all dogs. No, that's, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. I like dogs that are either medium built or large. Um, I have a German Shepherd. His name is Rocky. You see this thing right here? This is uh, for Rocky. It's uh, like a little drape thing that hooks on to the seats. So... All his sheddings doesn't don't get all of my car, which they do anyways. But I like big dogs, and Airedale Terriers are are pretty. They're not little. They're big. I like. They're, I think they're cute. I like big sized dogs like that. But how how you gonna like a dog that looks like an old man? <laughs> like he's got that beard. You can't even see his eyes. Like, how you? How can that dog see? Uh -huh. And, like, Airedale Terriers, like, they don't even... They have legs, but no feet. Like, you can't... It's like a straight pole of just four legs and no feet. You can't even see their paws or nothing. And they're too, like... I don't know. They're too, like... They look English. snooty. They look very... Yeah. They look very English. They look like... I don't know. But I think your dog's cute. I just don't like little dogs. And I hate cats. But yeah. Air, but Airedale Terriers, I mean, I think your dog's cute. It's just... It's not my thing, I guess, you know? Yeah, I just wanted to hear you call them. Now, I got a, now, now I got a question for you. Last official question. Yeah. Okay. Um... How much are you in love with me? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Not in front of the guys. <laughs> Not in front of the guys. You said yourself that. I did. I did. Yeah. Um, well, I hope everybody liked the QA, even though it's like an hour and a half long. Um, <laughs> I promised everybody that this would be up this afternoon it is three o'clock in the afternoon right now so i seriously seriously doubt that you know what you should do you should put the 20 minute for one first or are you gonna merge them i'm we're going all in an hour and a half one video <laughs> what about the thumbnails though no i did i did i did two thumbnails and they were awesome and um that's all right. We're going to put them all together and the video should be up. I mean, how long realistically should an hour and a half video take to upload, Mama? How long? Two, two, two and a half hours, maybe. You think so? That's not that, that's not that long. I... Hey, 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 hey. hey. You, can, you can also split it down in, in sections like I do. Like I'll upload a couple of 10 minute videos and merge them on YouTube. You can do it. I can show you. I can do it? Yeah. Okay. You can do it. I can do it, man. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to put it all together. It's going to work out. Um, there was a lot of ups and downs in this video, but I want to thank everybody for viewing and showing me love. I want to thank Dolce Foodie for blessing me with her presence, even though she doesn't know how to read. <laughs> What? Um, but yeah, this is fun. It's been what, like a year, like a year and a half since I've done the Q and A. Um, I should start doing these more often. Like, I should do like two a month, like Moonlight Eats. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope an hour and a half wasn't too crazy. I hope you liked the video. 
Uh, thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe. Um, go check out Dolce Foodie. She's been a great help during this whole thing. So see you later, guys. Peace.